Right guys, hope you're well and have a good Christmas. Um New Year's or it's New Year's Eve now, so I'm gonna go out and have a few casts. Uh it's my birthday, so why not? Go out and enjoy myself. Um in the meantime I got myself a wee uh treat off eBay. It's an how do you pronounce this like anem anemometer, meter, basically a wind flow meter. So um we'll show you it here. It's a pretty cool wee thing. It wasn't too expensive. Um the claim back we're showing is five percent, so even if it's ten percent, it's close enough for me. It's just for a rough guide of what wind I'm sort of casting in. So that's how we look at it here. There we go. It's sort of just a cheap generic one off eBay. Uh, I think it was like twenty quid, including postage. So accuracy plus or minus five percent, which is close enough for me. Came in a small case, small screwdriver. Take off the, the back with the batteries. The batteries came included as well. There's also a, a lanyard you can screw in, or a, not a lanyard necessarily, sort of something to put your hand through to stop it dropping off. So let's have a look at this here. So let's uh, end it up. There's a backlight as well. So we can have it on meters per second, which is quite handy for the, um, the legal limit for casting 18 gram plugs is three meters per second. So we're going to have it on that, kilometres an hour, feet per minute, knots, and miles per hour. So I'll probably just keep it miles per hour. There's a temperature gauge there, so I'll give it a wee blow. Well, there's an arrow, so I'm assuming the wind has to come in that way, so you'd basically look into the wind. I see a lot of people using them, They're st this is standing downwind. I think... That arrow suggests the wind blows into it, so you basically face the wind, hold it up and see what it is. And there's also an average function as well there. If you hold that down, push that once, it takes an average of the wind over 15 seconds, and there's a max min to show the maximum. So I think it'd just be handy, it's just, to, just so I roughly know what the wind is when I'm casting, especially when I'm casting down the beach and stuff, just so I know what sort of distance I can expect, what sort of... Depending on the wind, what distance I can sort of expect. So I'm going to head down with my red TXL. Dive a 7 inch team and have a few casts. So let's go down and see what the wind is down the coast. And it's very mild at the moment. It's probably about 13 or 14 degrees. So let's go down and have a look. Okay, let's see what the wind is. Up to about 4 mile an hour. Yeah, so it's been a while since I cast them um, proper leads. I've been doing like 50 gram, 75 gram the last sort of month, trying to get ready for a light line day, which I've done alright at. And also set to fix spool records for 50 gram and 75 gram on the, using my profile Evo, done 199 yards and 50 gram, 229 75 gram. So I'm very happy with that. So, but now it's time to get back on the leads. So let's go on to 150 here. Throwing 70 ST, 150 gram lead. 